Hi, and welcome to the lesparis.com podcast. I'm Les. This podcast is a short daily monologue that you can listen to. Use it to practice listening to English. Use it to stimulate ideas. Use it for BGM. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Les Paris podcast. I'm Les Paris. This is episode 10. And after yesterday's talk about coffee, I'm ready for a different subject. Today, let's talk about university and getting into it. University. For many people, university is the ticket to a higher paying job. And for other people, it's the ticket to a highly rewarding job that they can really get interested in. Either way, first you have to get into university. And it's that time of year here in Japan. Right now, my son is studying hard for his university entrance exams. Most countries around the world have entrance exams. There might be other requirements to get into the universities. For instance, in Canada, I think you have to have a high school diploma. Other places might ask for references or a personal statement. Aside from that, the tests themselves seem to be standardized. France has standardized exams to get into university across the country. America has the famous SAT exam. But when I got into university, I only wrote one exam. It was the writing test, just to ensure that I had a basic writing competency. After that, they just looked at my high school marks. It was easy for me. Did you graduate from university? How difficult was it to get into your university? Perhaps you're a student and you're thinking about getting into university today. What are the steps you have to take to prepare yourself for entrance into university? Well, there's lots more to say about universities and getting into them, but I will keep this short today and end here. Tomorrow's topic is the Loch Ness Monster. Do you believe in monsters? Monsters.